Welcome back, and if you saw my video on blanching and freezing green beans, this video is not going to be that much different. But in this video where I'm blanching and freezing zucchini, there's a reason that I do it this way because I think it's the most versatile way. As an example, in the past, I have actually made zucchini fries and baked them and put them in the freezer for long-term storage. And of course, then to make zucchini fries, all you have to do is take them out of the freezer, stick them in a microwave, you have zucchini fries. I've made pre-made zucchini bread. Made the batter, went ahead and baked the zucchini bread. Freeze the bread in the freezer. When you want zucchini bread, you take the bread out. You've got your zucchini bread. So all of these ways work. However, if you simply blanch and freeze zucchini, then you can have whatever your heart desires whenever you decide to use the zucchini. So that's kind of what I mean by it's more versatile is that let's say in december i decide i want zucchini bread i can just take the blanched and frozen zucchini out and process it a little bit more and make zucchini bread if i want um zucchini blondes then you know it's a, like a sweet cookie then i just take them out shred them up and make those if i want fries i make the fries now what i do to make this a little bit easier is I go ahead and cut the zucchini into fry shaped and then I blanch and freeze those. So it's really easy to still make fries. You just take them out of the freezer, put them on your cookie sheet, put all your seasonings and breading on it and stick them in the oven. So I think this is the most versatile way of doing it and it's very simple. It's very similar to the green beans the blanching time is a little bit shorter. So let's get started. You're basically going to need the exact same stuff as the last time. I've got a pan of water on the stove heating up to boiling. You're gonna need a bowl to hold the zucchini in and also fill up with ice water to shock the zucchini. You're gonna need a cutting board and a knife and you're gonna need something to store your zucchini in. I use Ziploc bags. You can use plastic bowls with the lid, whatever you've got this freezer safe. First thing we're gonna do, one thing that's a little bit different in this, I'm gonna use my French fry cutter because I am making these into fry style just because I think that's the most versatile way to, to treat zucchini, to cut it up. Also makes it blanch really quick. And, uh, and since I like zucchini fries, that's one less step I got to do. It's real easy to make zucchini fries out of existing zucchini fry shape than what it is to try to make zucchini fries out of slices of zucchini. If you haven't seen the video on my slicer, you probably want to check that out. This is a super quick way to do french fries. I'll leave a link in the description to the video I did on this. I did a short video and I also did a longer length video. It's actually in the beginning of the green bean blanching. So this actually has a suction cup that I didn't engage the, in that last video, but I'm going to this time to show you uh, that it does work. And I just simply didn't engage it because I only had a little bit to do in that last video. We're basically doing everything about the same. I have already washed the zucchini. I'm going to cut the ends off of it. Just makes it easier for the slicer. I'm going to make sure these are the correct size. About halfway it looks like. What I'm doing is I'm using the cutter to kind of get an idea where I need to cut this at. This one's also about halfway. So once I have that done, it's just a matter of sticking these in here and running them through. Just like that. Then I stick them in a bowl. Now 
Now I used to do this using just a regular knife, but one of the things I was trying to say was my plate is so full on this homestead any time that I can save a few seconds of time seconds equals minutes minutes equals hours hours equals days days equal weeks you get the idea so since i do everything by myself i'm sure you probably all have figured that out by now that i am single i cook three meals a day i do all the housework which i've actually been behind on um i do all of the yard work i do all the maintenance work i do all the homestead work just me so I have to be extremely efficient with my time. And you can see how long it took me to do zucchini in this cutter. Really easy to clean up. It's all stainless steel and plastic so it can go into a dishwasher for cleanup. I've moved the bowl over to here. We're basically gonna put our zucchini in the pan. Make sure that it's all covered. Instead of doing three to four minutes, we only need to do a minute with these, but you need to make sure they are all covered. Then, while that is doing its minute timer, I'm going to go ahead and add the ice water to the bowl. And as you can see, my timer is going off. Next thing we're going to do is use some sort of a utensil to put our zucchini into the ice water again i'm just using like a spaghetti spoon that you would scoop spaghetti out with just because i think that that works pretty well for most of the stuff that i do this way another thing you could do you could just dump this into a colander too same as last time you leave this in here until the zucchini is actually cold. If all your ice melts, put more ice in it. Same as last time, we're now going to take the zucchini and spread it out on a towel. Once it is cold. To try to get as much water off of these as possible. There is one step I'm going to do different on these compared to the green beans and that is that I am going to flash freeze them also then you just use another towel to try to get as much liquid off of these as possible doesn't have to be everything you just want most of it off so then you just want to take and lay them out once you get as much water off as possible Lay them out on parchment paper on a cookie sheet or cake pan or something like that. Straight into the deep freezer they go. Leave them in there about two hours, then take them out and stick them in a Ziploc bag and seal them. Gonna make this quick because it is Saturday the July 13th and someone just tried to shoot Trump at the PA rally so anyways it's been flash frozen now so we're going to take it off of the trays put it into a ziploc bag for final storage and make sure that we mark the bag and also put the date and what is in the bag with marker so that if it gets lost in the freezer we know what it is later usually the way I do this I basically just fold this over like that you want to get these in here before they unthaw so I'm going to kind of work pretty quick you could use a uh, spatula or something I'm just using my hands trying to not hold them very long because they will unthaw extremely quickly in this temperature once we get them in the bag we shake the bag just like we did with the green beans just 
just like that. Shake the bag to move it downward. Partially seal the bag. Then fold it over, get as much air out as possible. Like you're wrapping a paper present really tight. Then we're gonna mark it with a permanent marker. With a permanent marker, I'm gonna put on here what it is. This is zucchini. And it is seven. 13 24 then back in the freezer and we are done thanks for watching everybody by the way if it was biden who was shot i would be just as concerned even though i don't support biden's policies i'm still a compassionate and caring person this country does not have any place for violence toward our presidents past or present or future I'm totally against that. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. And speedy recovery to Donald J. Trump.